and it has been connected by an electrician. We've been using it for the last few weeks and I've got a ton of information to share with you on how to use this, what to do and what not to do, the controls on here. And uh, I hope you stick around for the whole thing so that you get a complete understanding of how to use your induction cooktop stove. So we just got this 36 inch cooktop stove at no charge for the purpose of this review. Previous hole was one inch too wide. So we put a, a one by in there and uh, took some of the extra uh, formica, the, the countertop, and uh, we uh, cut that down, glued it to the top. And so we're getting ready to drop this in. Uh, got an electrician on the way. So they got plenty of uh, 220 line, which is uh, available. And they got a marked L1, L2, and, and then your ground. And that's just gonna hook into your, uh, your power source. And I'm just gonna drop that in there. And, uh, and now I want you to see just how easy this stove top will drop in. Just like that. All right, now we just need to wait for the electrician. So for starters, this is an induction stove top, which means that it is not going to work with every pot and pan that is in your cupboard unless you have induction ready pots and pans. And by induction ready, I mean that if you can stick a magnet to the bottom of your pan, then it will work on the induction stove. If your magnet does not stick to the pan, it is not going to work. So let me show you a few things on here. What you have on your display board is your power button, timer button, pause button. This is to increase and decrease your temperature. And then you've got the barbecue side right over here and you can lock your controls and you can also boost your controls. You can see on every one of the burners that you've got a 2300 watt and you can boost that up to 3000 or 1500 up to 2000 and then you've got 2000 and boost it up to 2600 and I'll show you how to do all that. You also see all of your burners right here across the top. So uh, what I want to show you first is just how this works. I put my pot on my burner, I power it on, then I select my burner, and then I select my temperature. So I got it at a temperature of five. You probably heard the fan kick on underneath. And now my burner is beginning to get hot. And look there. Now I'm up to 186. So this heats up extremely, extremely fast. Now, uh, with the induction stovetop, your pan has to meet the same size as the burner, which means that I cannot put this over here and start that unless it's completely centered. Now, if it will not accept that pan, you will get an error sign like that. That's telling me either my pan is not induction ready or it's on the wrong burner. So I would have to move it over here to my small burner. And when your burner is correct, the, uh, the temperature will remain steady. To change the temperature, you push your burner and then you can use the slide and it goes up to eight for high, or you can use the plus or the minus just like that. Now, not only is it induction ready pots and pans, but you can also use cast iron. Now you see I have an error here, but once it recognizes the pan and the weight of the pan, then it comes right back on and it is good to go. This is magnetized and it will work, but it's not centered on my pad. And actually I can't get this uh, induction ready um, espresso to actually work. So what I did was that I bought an induction ready hot pad. So now I can set that on there and I can make my espresso with that. Notice I got the air and then it just comes right back up. And it's only because I got the correct induction pad on there. To boil my water super fast, I'm gonna pick my burner and I'm gonna push boost and it's going to go to P and it's gonna boost that and heat that water so much faster than just your regular uh, 1500 watt. Okay, so now your controls. We wanna go back here and uh, we wanna pause that. Now we're pausing every burner. It's not getting hot anymore. It's just, uh, it's just paused for the time being until I'm ready to put something on it. I'm actually gonna shut it off and what it's gonna show you is that this burner is hot. And by the way, if I put that on the center burner and once it gets hot, it too will flash even if it hasn't been used. You can power this on and you can hold this lock button for about 10 seconds. And now we've locked our, our keypad. The LO is a lock. To unlock it, 
you're just going to hold it again and then it unlocks. You can turn on your barbecue side. I've never done that yet and I've not had a need for it. Notice now that center one is showing hot because uh, I had a hot pad on there. Okay, so I've got a uh, about a cup and a half, two cups of water here. And uh, that water temperature right now is 87 degrees. And uh, we're gonna see just how long it takes to, uh, to boil that water. I'm at a minute and a half now, coming up on two minutes. All right, in three minutes, I went from tap water to 205 degrees. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, if you're looking for a really good, easy to install, easy to use induction stove, this one right here from AMZ Chef is definitely one that you would need to consider. The thing should boil over and you get some uh, eggs or uh, some sauce that is stuck to your stovetop. This right here has been super good to me. You put it on like you're waxing your car, let it set up and dry, and then wipe it off with a paper towel and you get this nice shine just like this. You, you see that reflection? That's what is reflecting off of my stovetop. That is a super sleek stovetop.